Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and today I thought I would share a little day in my life on solo mom duty. I've mentioned a few times in the last couple videos how there are some weeks that Josh just has crazy hours where he's traveling for work and I thought I would share a little bit of what a day in my life looks like when I am just on my own as a pregnant mom of a preschooler. Starting off, I just woke up and we only have like an hour and a half until I have to get Lila to preschool. I wish I was one of those moms who could wake up early, get my shower in, get ready for the day, make up, get dressed, and just reset my day. But I am also 31 weeks pregnant and exhausted. So my sleep is pretty important to me right now. So I let myself sleep until Lila wakes up, which is still pretty early. It's usually about 7.15 in the morning when she does that. We have to leave here by quarter to nine to get her to preschool on time. So I just really quickly washed my face, brushed my teeth, threw on my robe, threw my hair up in a messy bun for now. Um, I'm gonna get her started with some breakfast though because she was saying she was hungry already this morning and then luckily part of my nighttime routine I've adopted when I have days I know I'm gonna be alone and the mornings are gonna be hectic and crazy is I prep her lunch for school the night before so last night before I went to bed I prepped her school lunch she only has school on Monday Wednesday Friday so I won't have to do that tonight I'll show that in another nighttime routine maybe but I did that last night so her lunch is packed her school bag is packed so this morning I just have to get her fed get her ready and dressed for the day and get out the door on time Good morning. What would you like for breakfast today? Pancakes. Pancakes. Okay, you got it. So, luckily, on weeks I know I am going to be on my own, that is truly when meal prep pays off. I made pancakes um, last weekend on Sunday, and I made up a big triple batch, and that way I just let them all cool down, popped them in a Ziploc freezer bag, and now we have pancakes ready to go. I just have to pop these in the yeah, toaster. And they are, they're frozen. I'm gonna pop them in the toaster, mm -hmm. and then Lila can have a nice warm filling pancake breakfast, and I didn't have to make batter or anything like that this morning. You put them in the toaster? Put them in the spot. Oh, reach, reach, reach. And this one. Nope, this one. I'm gonna push the button down. Nope. <laughs> There's nothing in that one, silly goose. Pretty soon you're gonna make in me breakfast. Are you my chef? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that. Millie wants to say good morning too. Hello, Millie. You're so needy. Mm -hmm. Daddy did take care of Millie before he left early this morning. Josh left <laughs> around 6.30 this morning, but he already fed Millie and took yeah. her out. After breakfast, I got Lila started getting dressed. And while she was doing that, I went to unload the dryer from the laundry I had run overnight. I find I can keep up with things like laundry much easier if I try just to run one load a day. So I try to throw in a load as a part of ending her bedtime routine the night before into the wash. And then by the time I'm ready to go to bed a couple hours later, I will move it from the washer to the dryer. And then first thing in the morning when we're doing our get ready routine, a part of that is I unload the dryer and then hopefully I will fold and put things away that evening before starting the process all over again with my next load. Luckily as a small family of three right now, I feel like there are plenty of days where I don't have a load I need to throw in, but I have a feeling that that's gonna change when baby Jansen comes and I'll be happy for this routine then. I also try to make our beds every morning. I just feel like it's a good start to the day when the house is picked up, the beds are made. It feels like a fresh slate to start the morning and hopefully have a productive day. 
Well, like always, our morning got crazy. Lila and I are just about to drop her at school. Look at your cutie patootie hair. What day is it today? Is it wacky hair day? Wacky hair day. They're celebrating Dr. Seuss week at preschool this week. So Lila's had all sorts of fun dress up days, which I mean, it's fun, but solo mom life, it uh, adds one more level of extra. So anyway, we got her all ready and I'm about to drop her off at school. And then I have another OB appointment this morning. So another day, another doctor's appointment. I feel like I'm at that point in pregnancy where I spend my life at the doctor's office. So today I have an ultrasound though, so we get to see baby girl. Okay, we're here. That was a close one. I don't know why they always schedule you for like a 9.30 appointment, but once you're there at 9.15 to check in, even if there's no paperwork to sign, and Lila gets dropped off at school at 9, so it's 9.16. We're running close. Doing good. Just had the ultrasound. Baby's moving. She's right on track. And she's breached right now, but she still has lots of time to flip. We're not even 32 weeks yet. So that position makes a lot of sense with how I've been feeling her move. Her head's like tucked up in my ribs right now. She's got her little hands over her face and she's playing with them and waving. She's practicing breathing in there. And her little booty is down between my hips. So I'm thinking I was feeling like vibrations in my hips the last few days. I think it may have been hiccups. So there you go, baby hiccups. Okay guys, I am out of my appointment. Everything went really good. Baby's looking good. She's moving good. They're estimating her to be just over four pounds right now, which is, as she's, as the doctor said, a little bit on the big side, but tall people, like she's like in the 70th percentile. She is breech right now. Her head is up in my ribs with her little booty down and her feet are kind of like in my side. So makes sense for how I've been feeling movements and kicks all over the place. My blood pressure is still really good. I did check with her on a newer symptom that I've been having the last like two weeks or so. And I've been having a lot of pain in like my pelvic region, almost like soreness and aches. She said it's probably just like some pelvic girdle pain, which it's my second pregnancy. Your muscles aren't as strong, especially because I've had a C-section previously. So she did recommend I maybe get um, like a belly support band for the duration of my pregnancy just to help with my muscle strength and like holding up the weight as the baby grows. Obviously, it was kind of a crazy busy morning trying to get Lila prepped and off to school and then straight over to the doctor's appointment. So I haven't had coffee yet. So I think we're going to go swing through Starbucks and grab a little coffee, head home, and then it is a gorgeous, beautiful day. It is supposed to be around 70 and sunny today. So before I go pick up Lila from school, I'm going to try and get outside and do my walking. I am trying to get back on track with walking daily. I was doing super good through most of my first and second trimester, and then after the holidays, I got so sick and kind of like started slacking on my walking. So I actually shared in my last pregnancy update as well as over on my Instagram that I'm doing a mile a day March challenge. I am a competitive person even when it's just with myself. So having a tracker where I can just like mark off the days and keep myself accountable that I'm getting my walks in is really encouraging to me. This week with Josh working late hours, I have to get a little bit more thoughtful about it. I can't just go in the evening when he's home and has Lila. So I got to use this time while Lila's at school. It's kind of my only opportunity just to go take a walk by myself. So I'm going to go get my mile walk in, have my coffee, and then we'll see where our day takes us. Mm, I don't know if I know what I want yet. I'm so bad about this. I don't get coffee out very often anymore, but then I don't take the time to think about what I'm going to get. And then I panic and I end up ordering the same things like all the time and not trying anything new, which is what I want to do. So... Pressure. Why is there so much pressure involved in ordering coffee? Starbucks. My name is Anora. How may I help you today? Hey there. Um, let's see. Hello. What can I get for you? Do you guys still have the pistachio syrup? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, can I do? Can I do um a pistachio latte iced with almond milk? And what size is that? A grande, please. Alright. Anything else for you? That's it. Okay, that will be 658 at the window. Okay, thank you. Here, can I get some Yes. Alright. See you. Would you like a straw today? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, that one's broken. <laughs> Thank you. There you are. Have a good one. You too. 
it looks like. Just an ice pistachio latte. I do feel like you always have to stir it really good because stuff gets stuck at the bottom. Ooh, and when it's stuck at the bottom, it's real sweet on that first sip of the straw. Mmm. If you guys like pistachio flavored things, the iced pistachio latte from Starbucks is really good. I would say it's almost a little too sweet, and I think it's just because normally with Starbucks for so long, I've always done like the sugar-free vanilla or you know lighter on the syrups in pregnancy. I'm not doing sugar-free products very much. So when I do splurge on coffee out, it tastes super sweet to me. So anyway, I don't know, it's a little treat, a little treat. I feel like you always need a little treat like that after an OB appointment. I mean, the appointment was great, but I just, it's become like part of my little habit. Get through the doctor's office, get yourself a little coffee or something. Oh guys, it's so nice out. I just wanna like open the windows, open the sunroof. It's like only opening a few inches at a time. But some sunshine on a clear day. It's not too hot. This is my favorite time of year in Georgia. Like March through early May, it's perfection. All right, well now my windows are open and it's gonna be loud, so I'll see you guys at home. I was just getting ready to head outside and go for my mile a day walk today, and I was thinking about how my doctor was telling me it'd be really great to get some sort of a support band for my belly because I've been having that pelvic pain, and I came across something the other day on, I think it was on TikTok, and I saw someone use a baby wrap. This is, um, this is the Moby wrap. I got this when I was pregnant with Lila. So this one is older, but I had known I had it pulled out because I've been pulling through all of Lila's old baby stuff, trying to get together things for this baby, for what I'm gonna be able to reuse. And I knew I had this sitting upstairs. I saw someone use one of these like stretchy baby wraps to rig up like a belly band. So because I have this at home and I'm going for a walk and it would be nice to have the extra support, I'm gonna see if I can copy how she did the tie on it and see if it works. So. Let's try it out. Okay, so you find the center of the wrap. Mine has um, the little Moby symbol as the center. I'm gonna place that over the middle of my bump. Grab these portions. This is a super long wrap, which is great if you are curvy or plus size, because sometimes, depending on the brand of wrap, I did have trouble with Lila finding ones that were long enough that I felt like I could securely tie it and have enough um, length left to like get her in there good. So I really liked this one with Lila. Okay, so that's over there. And then this is crossing in the back, coming up over your shoulders. Just gonna like kind of flatten it out a bit. I'm like curvy and tall, so lengths of things are always hard for me. All right, so she used this and then went around her shoulders like a backpack almost. May not be big enough. Okay, so I adjusted it a little bit. I pulled it tighter. So the band is around like my tummy. And then because it's crossed in the bag, it comes around like backpack straps. And then I think because again, I'm tall and curvy, I don't quite have enough slack to do the second wrap around the belly. Normally you would tie here and then crisscross it one more time and tie it your low back. Um, mine's not gonna be long enough to do that. Hello, Millie. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try just tying it off here, but this might be, I don't know, it's a little bit of support. I can feel it like supporting and lifting up my my lower belly area, which is like, this is like where the bump hangs and why it's causing some like stress in my pelvis. You know, we'll give it a try. I had this at home and I figured we'll try it. And then I can always, if I don't feel like it's enough, I can always um, get one of the bands that just like wraps. I do this time, I didn't with Lila and I totally regret it. I didn't get a postpartum belly band. I did use like compression kind of garments with her afterwards, like tanks and like the high-waisted underwear, um, but I didn't get a specific belly band. And with having had a C-section, I feel like it took forever for my muscles to really like come back together and get strength back in my core. And I've heard a lot of really positive things about just using a postpartum belly 
band, kind of like a waist cincher that you can wrap around and adjust, and it just gives you abdominal support while you're recovering. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna get one of those for postpartum, but this is like the thing with pregnancy. Every phase is so short. I'm like, oh, if I have to order a belly band for during pregnancy, which is a separate garment from the post-pregnancy one I wanna get, by the time the one gets delivered that I need to help support for my pelvic pain, I'm only gonna be able to use it for, you know, four or five weeks before I give birth, and then is it worth it? Anyway, you gotta decide what's worth it to you, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna give this a roll. We're gonna give this a try. I do feel like it's holding, like, my lower belly up higher, so maybe, maybe it'll work. I definitely need something for when I'm walking um, for more support. That's why you're here. Did you hear me say we're going for a walk? She heard me say walk. Such a beautiful day. Look at that sky. I love springtime in Georgia. And I got suckered. I was not planning on bringing Millie on this walk. Come on, Mills. Cause she gets so excited, um, but sometimes she pulls and I just don't want her to pull me down, but she's being pretty good. So I don't have my Fitbit on, but I remember from when I did my mile a day May challenge last year, I figured out a perfect one mile loop in my neighborhood. So I'm just going through my old circuit. So that'll be my mile for the day. I'll mark it off on my tracker, share it over on Instagram for encouragement for everyone. And if the weather's not warm yet where you live, there are some really great walking workouts on YouTube. I'll try and link a couple of my favorite ones that I've used in the past in the description bar below. But there are some really fun videos that you can do that help get your steps in and get walking walking while inside your own house. Okay guys, we're most of the way done with my mile walk. Um, final thoughts on the band wrap. It's definitely a light support. I think if it was longer and I could do that final crisscross wrap around the bump and tie it at the lower back instead of the mid back, it'd have more of a medium to high support. So maybe I'll look for something like that. Cause then at least a wrap like that, I can use after baby girl is here and just have another sling wrap. But I will say because it's wrapped around my shoulders, I feel like my posture is much better and I think that is also helping the support a bit so having good posture not hunching over from the weight of the pregnant belly so something to look into I may also take a peek at Target next time I'm there just to see if they have any in stock that's one of the hard things is I kind of flirt between regular and plus size just like I was before my pregnancy so it is honestly pretty hard to find some plus size maternity type items like belly bands, like good fitting maternity or nursing bras. So that's been a little bit difficult. I've honestly made do mostly with non-maternity clothes so far. I've just been using some of my older clothes that were a little on the big side for me before getting pregnant. But as I progress through my third trimester, things are definitely getting a little tight and uncomfortable. I need some new stuff, so. We'll see what I'm gonna do clothing wise until baby girl comes. A few more weeks, but I might need a few new things. Well, I made the mistake of sitting down when we got home. Um, I was definitely tired from hiking up our last hill. We have a pretty hilly neighborhood and it is a pretty good incline when I go that direction around our block. So, whew, mom got a little workout in even though it was only a mile. So when we got home, I sat down and I was uploading some footage to start editing this video because I had like an hour before I needed to go get Lila from school, but then I got distracted. And now I need to leave to go pick up Lila in like 15 minutes and I haven't eaten anything since this morning. So I'm really hungry, but I don't really have time to like make make a lunch. So I think I'm just gonna grab a snack and then I've actually been cooking all week. I've been filming another video for you guys. It's all Trader Joe's easy meals. So we've been eating at home all week. So I think maybe tonight Lila and I will have a little special mommy daughter night and I will pick up some food on the way home and we'll just do like an early dinner and do takeout for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna grab a snack to carry me over till then though. All right, super simple, but I just have a baby bell cheese, a mandarin orange, some pretzel thins, and some classic hummus. Well, I'm gonna eat up my little snack and then go ahead to get Lila. Hopefully this will hold me over until a little bit later. I picked up Miss Lila from school and now we actually headed over to our city park. It was such a nice day out. I was like, let's get Lila outside and running around, get some of her energy from post school out. Um, all I had to do was grab, I brought a snack with for her, some goldfish and some raisins. I am going to miss how easy just like doing things on the fly and on the run with a preschooler only is once we have baby and I have to like pack a diaper bag and think through more of what I need, it's gonna be a big change. So 
She's easy peasy though, because she already has her water bottle ready to go from school. There's bathrooms here at the park. She's fully potty trained, so I don't need to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So anyway, we are gonna play at the park for a while, and then we'll probably go grab some dinner. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. dinner yeah yeah you like yeah. chipotle you ate your quesadilla and some black beans and rice and you had some chips we had so much food left over though i only ate about half of that burrito i get so full so fast in pregnancy even though i've been craving chipotle and i've been wanting it for days i still could only eat half of it but that's okay because we ended up getting a top to her kids meal box and a bag and i just brought it home if i get hungry later maybe i'll finish it or i'll save it for tomorrow so we'll see it's like kind of crazy early still it's only just after three so we did an early dinner so she'll probably still want a snack at some point later tonight so we are gonna head home now maybe have a little quiet time i know she's tired from her big day of school and playing at the park and then actually i have a fun activity that arrived for lila thank you to our friends over at love every who sent lila one of their stage based play kits these love every play kits are so cool because they come with so many different activities as well as additional suggestions of activities and crafts you can do on your own with your own supplies that are appropriate for this age of development. I wish I had found these play kits earlier. They do work like a subscription system so you could get a new box full of fun learning activities with all of the materials you need sent right to your house every other month. Lila is at the top of the age range for these boxes but I can't wait to start with the ages zero months box for baby girl number two when she gets here later this spring. They pull it through the back. Good job. I'm sewing, I'm sewing. I sewed an apple. You sewed an apple, wow. We were also sent their play gym for baby girl. So she can jump right in exploring colors, textures, and shapes as soon as we begin tummy time with her. I love the aesthetic of this neutral play gym and that it can transition with baby girl all the way through her first year by switching out the different accessories. Thank you so much, Love Every. And if you guys are interested in checking out more about this company, their play kits, or the play gym, I will put a link to their products in my description box below. Well, I think it's a hit. She keeps saying again, again. She's done the puzzle like four times. Okay, guys, so Lila and I played. She is watching a show over on the couch, kind of winding down for the night. I am gonna try and tackle the dishes I have in the sink from earlier today and do a quick pickup around down here. And by the time I'm done with that, her show will be over and it'll be time for her bedtime routine. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad I know it can be so hard to stay motivated by the end of the night, especially after a long day alone at home with the kids. 
but I know how much better my mental health is and my attitude is more positive when I have a clean and organized home. So a lot of times at night when I'm not feeling the motivation, I'll just set like a 10 minute timer and do what I can do in those 10 minutes, whether it's getting the dishes and sink cleaned out, loading up the dishwasher or unloading it if I've run it and doing a quick toy pickup, which Lila also will help me with before she goes to bed. Tonight's 10 minute pickup was getting the dishes done, loading up the dishwasher, and then giving my sink a quick sanitize with some distilled white vinegar spray and a wipe down. Then I still had time to give Lila a little snuggle before bed. We got her changed into jammies, read books, and after she was down asleep, because I had taken my 10 minutes to pick up the downstairs already, I was able to go and take some me time, take a relaxing bath, which helped soothe those sore muscles from pregnancy. I did a little reading, finished up editing this video and went to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching my solo mom day in the life. Hopefully I shared some tips on how I try and keep on top of things and myself organized. Let me know any of your best tips to stay on top of things when you have a lot going on or you're solo momming. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. And until next time, bye. I get up, I always do.